Zach, what was your reaction to finding out you were the guy? Uh, probably the same as uh, my reaction right now. What do you remember about your first opening day start with the Royals back in 2010? Mm, not really too much. Uh, yeah, I don't remember if I did good or not that game or who it was against. Uh, I think I've done it like two other times, maybe okay. three other times. And some of them bad, so hopefully it goes better this time. The first one was against the Tigers and Verlander. And Detroit or Kansas City? Kansas, Kansas, Kansas City. City. Kendall was behind the play. Yeah, Kendall was good. Does it mean, does the opening day start mean more, do you think, across baseball, or is it just, just another start? Uh, uh, I don't know about like each individual person's thoughts. Um, I mean, it's probably a li little bit different than a normal start, but not too much. Your first start's always like a little bit different, whether it's the first game, second game, third game, tenth game. Mm -hmm. Your your first outing is uh, different than most of them. With the distractions or all the pomp and circumstance prior to the game, um, your experience on opening day, I would assume, helps prepare? Uh, the distractions are easier open day because then you don't have to deal with them. You just get ready to pitch. Mm -hmm. And when you're watching the game, you have to do all the stuff they ask you to do. Um, but if you're starting, you just do your normal starting stuff. So. I think he said that he told you even before or you, you signed uh, that, that this would be your role uh, to lead the staff. Is that kind of how you see it? Uh, I don't know. Those are just like words. I don't really know how people think about that stuff. Um, I knew sometime that whenever my schedule was lined up that if things went good, I was set up to go the first game. Um, so far, things have gone smooth. So that's uh, that's about as far as I know. And usually, there's like something happens where you get messed up a little bit in spring training. But uh, so far, this time it hasn't happened. It's been going pretty good. You said you know the first start is always you know maybe a little more. There's a little bit more to it. Um, with this one being your first one back with the Royals, do you think you'll feel anything different going into this one? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it'll probably be a little different, but every time I pitch there is a, a like a little uh, different than pitching at a, another place. And then same with every time I pitched in Milwaukee, it's been a little different. Um, those are the two places that I feel different when I pitch pitch at them. Is it different? Uh, a good thing? Uh, I don't know. It's just you got memories there. It is kind of what it is, and you have memories from that spot. There, I was going to say, are there any um, memories that stand out from Kaufman? Or, I mean, I'm sure there are, but what are the ones, I guess, that stand out the most for you from that ballpark? Uh, it's more just like driving in a familiar area, like being by where you live for a couple of years, and the drive to the stadium is like, uh, kind of brings back memories. Kind of like when I go back home to Orlando, when I go back to my uh, street where I grew up and stuff, like it just kind of has a different feel to it. Like home? Uh, I mean, that's a little... Too much. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little too sentimental right there. But. My bad. Have you thought about what the fan reaction will be to, to you coming back? I mean, people are excited from what we've been hearing. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be back. And the uh, main goal for me, though, is focusing on pitching and helping helping the team and that's that's the main uh, concentration at the moment. Terrific. Thanks, Thank you. Congratulations on the, uh, the contract, the option being exercised. Uh, just wondering your thoughts on that. Yeah, couldn't couldn't be happier. Um, I told Dayton, Mr. Sherman, just how grateful uh, no place I'd rather be than here. Just uh, in the middle of something really special. Special group of players, special organization. Um, just the vision, uh, 
everything is, is right, right on, and um, just couldn't be happier to be um, in the spot where they have the confidence in me moving forward in this position. Is there um, significance for you just to do it now as opposed to after the season when you have some, you know, um, clearly it didn't have to get necessarily get done right at this point? Yeah, that's not something um, that I really put a whole lot of thought to and no one has brought to my attention. You know, you, I did the same thing as a player. I just want to go play. Um, but when what you do is acknowledged and, um, and it's appreciated and uh, you know, it speaks volumes when they come out and say, okay, uh, we appreciate what you've done. We like the way things are moving. Now let's try and figure out how to just keep this going forward. Um, when you put away the whole, all right, just gonna put my head down and go, you get to the reality of, you know, that's just a, a great compliment. It's something that um, I'm proud of and uh, very, very grateful for. How do you view the the vision of the organization moving forward? It seems like, I mean, you guys have steadily increased since you took over. Um, how much are you looking forward to what's gonna happen these next few years? Yeah, I mean, that's the very first conversation we had in this clubhouse is, is the expectation in our mind. And it's championships and, and that's a plural and how do we um, continue to build on things that we're watching we had just a great ceremony this morning with honoring all the minor league players and the championships that happened there just that I truly believe that winning's a habit and uh, you just kind of begin to have that level of expectation and when you start getting players that buy into that that have tasted it whether it's in the minor leagues or in the major league level um, you realize that it's uh, extremely special, but you also realize as you look around here and you take an honest evaluation of where we are, uh, this is all right in front of us right now. It's not some building for some brighter future. It's let's go. It's time, and we're here. And it's uh, it's unique and uh, something that uh, these guys all they smell it. And to be right in the middle of that is uh, there's no better place I'd want to be. Uh, obviously your focus is on going forward, but I'm just thinking, you know, especially with this coming right now, the first two seasons, how would you characterize, I mean, just, I mean, between whether it's the, the you know, disjointedness with the pandemic and, and all that sort of stuff, or just the fact that you guys have really had a lot of guys transition to the big leagues during your time here in these last two seasons, too. I guess, how would you characterize the, the tenure so far? Yeah, we, we've had, um, had some really bright spots, uh, you know, but it comes down, we all know what uh, what the end game is and how we are, we're evaluated. It's wins and losses. Um, it's being able to to uh, pop champagne at the end of the season. It's being able to put the kind of product out there that uh, our fan base appreciates. Uh, and a lot of those things we've been able to do outside of popping that champagne and figuring out um, how to make that next step into uh, November or late October um, and have that ce celebration in November. I mean, those are things that are always in front of us, but I think we're, there's been some significant steps. We've seen a lot of these young players take that next step. We've watched some of our veteran players continue to get better. So it's, it's improvement and growth, um, but it comes down to you know, that thing that's always hanging there. Uh, we've got one eye on constantly getting better and the other eye on, um, on a championship. And that's, that's why we show up. Do you guys have plans for tomorrow morning or just the, uh, the night game? Uh, yeah, just the night game. Yeah, well, we have B game, I think, early. Right, Sam? Yeah, we have B game early. Um, and then the night game. And then we have a uh, day off the next day, which most guys are tracking pretty well right now to take that day. Uh, Zach is going to throw later in the day, so we'll get his work. Everybody else will probably take a day to shut down. Thank All right, guys, have a great day.